Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid, and I built a ship. Isn't it beautiful? It's made of completely of docked armor plates. As if you've been watching this particular run, you'll know these docked armor plates are 45 by 45 by 5. They consist of a layer of advanced armor, an air gap, a layer of kind of waffled... Not really, not really waffled checkerboard, but a um, lattice, a lattice of thrusters, a second layer of advanced armor, and it docks to this ship. This ship is made of white, white uh, standard armor. It has, let's see, that's nine there, and there's six sides to a cube, so nine times six, four, uh, fifty-four. There are 54 armor, plated, uh, armor plates on here. And on the inside, we will find stabilizers, lots of blocks of stabilizers. Um, a camera suspended up here, and a tiny little power block. The stabilizers are just there to have something in the, uh, in the uh, inside. Also, you might notice my cursor's going crazy because it doesn't know where to place this block. Because the entirety is filled with water. So, yeah. Uh, so this way, if a shot penetrates, I can trace how it behaves after it hits the, the armor plating. Uh, it also has a camera that I said is like a third-person type unit. There we go. Find a seed. Let's shoot it. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> ooh, ooh. How about we try with our brand new missile boat? Nope, do not set that as a docked unit. Why? Oh, because the filthy missile boat is, is its radar jammer active. Jump, jump, jump. jump. And because this is not a ship I plan on keeping around. Uh, this instance of the ship is not one I plan on keeping around. We are just going to uh, cut our way in. Uh, where am I? Oh, the camera's not right. Is it? Hold on. I can't see anything. Oh, no, I can see some stuff. Where are we? That is the bombardment camera. That's why it looked funny. Okay. Those of you unfamiliar, this is my latest project, um, other than the, of course, the armor blocks. Um, it shoots missiles, you're about to find out. I want to see if this cube, no shields on the cube, I want to see what this does to it. Now, we've already tested that one of these plates will block, will, will block, it will severely mitigate uh, the damage taken by a million, two million damage bomb. So let's see what it does against a boatload of missiles. Quite literally a boatload. Whee! All right. So let's investigate. See what actually happened. There was a hull breach. See that. <clears throat> this one is cracked open with a hole breach because it hit right here in this, um, in between the armor. Uh, crack that one open. Ooh, this one, it again struck right here in the seam between the armor. So, this is what basically an unarmored strike would have done. Um, again, wow, my, this is great. My missiles seem to be hitting the seams, but when they don't, I have a little scuff damage, but that is from inside the armor. Let's check here. I'm guessing a single missile hit. This thing lobs 31 missiles, so yeah. Another single, maybe double hit, and I'm guessing multiple missiles hit this. Yeah, definitely multiple missiles struck this side. So let's 
let's take a more direct approach. These are going to be mostly top missiles because this is a a uh, top firing vessel. Comes down. Yep, hitting along that seam. Hitting along the seam does bad things, so in between the plates is the place to hit. It looks like direct hits of singular missiles are basically stopped. Now this armor plate's gone, and its purpose is pretty much, pretty much over. Let's go pew pew again. Now this is a substantial weapon. This is 31 missile beam, or, yeah, missile beam. And let's see here. Uh, missiles. Each one of these 31 missiles does 108,000 damage. Is there 90? 90, 90 anyway. So, this is not a, uh, this is not a pea shooter. It's not the biggest gun ever, but versus two layers of advanced armor. Alright. Let's try something a little, uh, a little different. Let's load in a... Let's load in a Mantis Fighter. Mantis Fighter, that's one of my fighters. You couldn't tell. It's just a little fighter with a... Basically a pea shooter on it. Uh, damage beam missile and a tiny little cannon cannon. So we'll have something to do while the damage beam reloads. Alright. Uh, pull up the AP Ballistics Cube. Uh, don't really care what faction it's in. Alright, so let's... Let's target... Uh, actually, that yeah, let's target... No, let's not target it so I can see what's going on. And hit it with a... Damage Beam uh, Missile. Which... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Damage per tick is 400, so it's not a particularly potent... Oh, there are two of them. So they're not particularly potent, but they do their thing. The armor, I think, is going to be most efficient against beams, because look at that. The beams, they're doing surface damage, and they're chewing away this first leather, this thir first leather, this first layer of armor. So yeah, beams are not going to be... So if I know my enemy's using beams... These armor plates are going to be great. Uh, especially sacrificial pieces. Because the beams tend to do lots of surface damage. Alright. So, basically, it's impervious to my... Well, if it had guns on it, then it, then it wouldn't care at all about the... Uh, the little fighter here. Let's grab something a little more substantial. Eight. This is my ironclad. Um, it is a replica ship of a... Well, replica. it's inspired by the USS Cairo. Uh, an old ironclad used in the American Civil War. All right. Uh, those are cannon turrets? I don't remember what type of turrets those are. Huh. All right. And it has a couple big guns. It has a missile computer and a cannon. So we're going to see. This cannon, I believe, is a much more substantial than the last one. Yeah, damage of 17,000. It's a 871 barrel. There are two barrels. So, yeah. Well, how much was that? 17,000. 17,000 damage per shot. There are two shots. So let's see if we can poke a hole in this thing. Let's see, you have to stop. There you go. That's it, right there. I'm assuming cannon is going to be the weak point of this, because it focuses, yeah, it focuses. And it punches straight through and does horrible, horrible things to the armor. Wow. Okay. So cannon. Oh, whoa! When there was that's 
where those sort of the shots intersected and went. It skinned, or skimmed, skinned, yeah, it skinned this part here, and then punched a hole there. Let's go up a little higher. Let's see how this shot did. This shot did the same. Actually, that's interesting to look at this pattern like this. Huh. Of course, it didn't do widespread damage. It poked a hole and ran a shot all the way through. So it's not like the missile that hit between the seams and took out a bunch of the water blocks or a bunch of the systems. This, let's see if we aim it, uh, about three meters left. That is not left. There we go. That was a hit on a system. Hit on a system. Yeah, it did bad things to it, but it didn't do nearly as bad as it could have. So the advanced armor is not tremendous. The thin layers of advanced armor is not tremendous at slowing down. Wait a minute, where'd my block go? Right, my docked entity just disappeared. Okay, so it's not tremendous at slowing down uh, cannon shot, but. Mm. we It does do a decent job. Oh, wow, that. That was not a decent thing. That was... How powerful are these guns? Cannons. Missiles. Okay, so that's 1.4 million. But being... In 1.4 million, this was more powerful than the central bomb and the cyclops. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's like... Whoa. Of course, it is, is a missile, missile, um, this is missile cannon, no, missile beam, and this is what a hit normally does. All right, so this is a better view. This is the crater that would have been caused without the protection of the, um, advanced armor. Uh, now, I understand this is water, water blocks are weaker, but still. If you had thrusters or hull or systems, he carved through these systems like they were water. So, I was at first thinking, yeah, that's that's not good. But then again, seeing this again, yeah, that that did a tremendous job because it changed this enormous crater into uh, into a little plug. Except I can't see anything. Where am I? Why am I on the bridge? You see here, it hits and just makes us little indentation as opposed to po poking through the armor, then exploding inside and doing this. Actually, oh, stop that. Let's pull in another uh, AP ballistics cube. That's what I'm calling these. AP as an armor plating, not armor piercing. This is armor plated. Are you overheating? Yeah, you're overheating. <laughs> All right. So, ah! So, that's what more a real... A real combat would have looked like. Two missiles tracking a moving target. Yes, I totally did that unintentionally. I didn't accidentally bump it and just tried to shoot it anyway. And see, instead of cratering the entire thing, it's messed up the armor plates and the outside hull. As opposed to when you hit the seam like that. Oh, no, no, Star, Mar Star Maid, stay with me. Stay with me. Can you stop moving? I know I hit you, but I didn't mean to. Yeah. Hitting the seam. It it did way more than the other even dreamed about. Okay, so I was starting to get a little um a little unsaddened by that. But after shooting it without the armor plating, I am very impressed at how much 
just that little uh, little bit does. Hmm. All right, I have been JW608, and this has been Star Made. And I'll take you cats later. All right, I think I'm starting to get... Wait a minute, what's all this on the... Oh, Blue Six Cube died and it dropped all its plates. Well, that's nasty. <laughs>